Hi folks, Richard Fish with Fence Supply Online here. Wanted to tell you about our new product we're super excited to be carrying from Fence Armor. Fence Armor is a product that should have been introduced a long time ago. I would not have replaced as many fences in my life if they had had this product on them. I, I know for a fact this would have saved countless wood fences, uh, iron fences, etc if it had just had this simple, simple product. Fence Armor, it's, there's the box, super simple. Clamshell, two pieces, halves, go around the base of your post and protect your post from a weed eater. There's the shape, half, you can do a half protection or full protection, line them up, Put the screws together, screw on the front, three screws, four screws uh, all the way around, four sides, four screws. Now these are white and these are for five by five. These go around a white vinyl post. They have them for every kind of fence. They've got them for the iron. They've got them for the two inch iron, three inch iron, four inch iron. Uh, they've got them for wood, got them for the four by fours, the three and a half by three and a half four by fours that are so common on every wood fence in the world. Uh, and all the vinyls, four inch, five inch, you name it. They have a very, very wide category, uh, a wide collection of uh, uh, products to fit every kind of it. Even round post, round post. I'll get to that here in a second. The biggest thing, especially if you've got a wood fence, if you just put in a new privacy fence and you got four before wood or you got cedar uh, or you've bought a... Uh, uh, pressure treated uh, round rail, split rail fence from me or Michael, you need to protect the bottom of it. Because of the way pressure treating has to be done now on wood products, especially the way the EPA has changed it all up, they soak the lumber full of the chemical. They put it in a pressure treater, they put it in a giant pressure vessel, put in the chemicals in the water and flood the chemicals and force it into the pores and into the uh, wood that you're going to be using for your fence post. And then they drain the water off, ship out the post. Problem is, and you can go look at any Home Depot or Lowe's, any lumber store you want. If you look at the end of that post, you'll notice the treatment doesn't get all the way to the dead center of a four by four or larger post. You'll notice it's a little bit lighter right there in the center. That is untreated wood. It's only treated about half to three quarters of the way in, and then there's no treatment. It doesn't go all the way to the center anymore. Not like the old uh, pressure treating used to be where it was CCA all the way to the core. It's not that anymore. Weed eaters chew up that wood so fast. Weed eaters, uh, doesn't matter. They, they start hammering away on the outside of those posts and shortly you're down to unprotected wood and it's and plus you've lost strength you've lost integrity i don't know how many fences i and my crews have ripped out over the years that were chewed off at the bottom and that was where they broke off when we went to yank them out of the grounds they broke off where weed eaters had just had a field day with them the rest of the fence a lot of times the rest of the fence was fine it was just the post that had rusted off or rotted off even if you have a galvanized post, say you have a galvanized uh, privacy fence uh, on two and three eighths uh, round galvanized posts, extremely popular, extremely popular. Some cities now, especially like in the Dallas area, they don't even allow wood posts to go back in on a, uh, on a wood fence job. They actually require it to go in on metal posts. Well, that's all fine and good. Oh, it won't ever rust, right? Except galvanized is just a zinc coating on top of steel. What happens when you chip away at that galvanized coating? You get exposed steel and then you get a rust off post. And those are extremely expensive. That's a much more expensive fence than a wood four before post. So you want to take care of that. They have, instead of the square ones or the rectangles, two rectangles that come together and make a square, uh, C clamshell, I guess you'd call it, kind of a clamshell look. They have just a straight, flexible, bendable that you just wrap it around the post. You put it in one screw, you wrap it around the post, put it in the other screw, so you're com 
completely protected all the way around the base of your post. On your round, on your round metal, on your round wood, you name it. That's how they do the round post. Now you say, well, I've got a iron fence. I've got uh, two by two, uh, two inch square iron post. Um, and I, uh, I don't, uh, I will need that they're powder coated. Well, great. Powder coating, even on top of galvanized, is still on top of, you guessed it, steel. And if you have areas, especially around gates, around pools, where you've got a lot of heavy edging, weed eater action going, where they're really getting after it, you're going to chip away at that, at that powder coating. You'd rather get rid of one of these than replace an entire iron fence. On your vinyl, vinyl superior product doesn't doesn't have as much wear and tear to the weed eaters but it can it, it can and will get damaged so you've got this to protect the damage plus the outside of a pvc fence is where the uv protection is that's what keeps the sunlight from turning the plastic brittle and turning it yellow and having it crack and fall apart if you've got exposed, if you've worn away, may not you may not see actual cuts, but if you've just worn away all of the uh, uh, of the protective titanium oxide is what we're talking about. There, there, that's the version, that's the word we're talking about is titanium oxide. If you've worn that away with a weed eater, that's where it's going to get brittle and that's where it's going to break. Once again, pretty cheap insurance. Highly recommend this product. Uh, fence armor. Once again, fence armor is the product. Uh, you can buy it. Uh, you can get with me or Michael. You can buy it directly through the website. Uh, buy it through this website. You name it. Got to get this on your fence post, especially in your areas. You don't have to do 100% of your post unless you have heavy weed eating at every post. If you've got heavy weed eating uh, at every post and manicured lawns, go ahead and get it for every post. You're going to need it. Thanks so much.